guys welcome back to the channel so first of all what we have to do we have to just log in with this data sharing console so just open this link in incognito window okay now just simply copy the username of data share like this and paste over here then copy the password of data share and paste hit enter just wait and click on add and start just wait for a second Now click on this checkbox and click on agree and continue. Now just simply search for the BigQuery over here. Click over here. Now just simply scroll down till task number one. Okay. Now just go. Now here please pay attention. Copy this query. And just simply click over here. Paste the query over here. Now click on this more option. Then click on this query setting. Now here choose the set a destination table. Now for the data set, just simply scroll down copy this thing carefully do not copy that last full stop this full stop do not copy just copy like this paste over here just wait and click over here now for the table id just copy this thing paste over here no need to make any other changes just simply click on save and it's done okay now click on run now just wait And query is execute now if i just simply click over here and then click on this so i can see the table name authorized table so we have done with this task now what we have to do we have to just authorize the data set so what you have to do just copy this thing carefully again i'm saying do not copy that last full stop just copy this thing now click on this data demo data set like this then click on sharing and then click on authorize data set just wait paste the data set name which you just copy and click over here now just wait and click on author authorization okay so it's done now click on close so we are done with this task now what we have to do we have to just grant some permission so just simply click on this table name now just simply click on share just wait now click on add principle now here just simply scroll down copy this username paste over here then click on this blank space like this then copy the second username again click over here paste and again click on this blank space it must look like this now just copy this rule click over here search for it and here you can see bigquery data viewer just simply click over here click on save just wait and it's done okay now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue just wait And we got a score for the task number one now what you have to do first of all just close this console okay now we have to just log in with the data publisher so just open this console in incognito now just scroll down and here you can see data publisher username so just copy this paste over here then copy the then copy the password and paste over here just wait again do the same thing i understand just wait click on this checkbox and simply click on agree and continue now again such simply search for the bigquery and open this thing now just simply scroll down copy this query now here please pay attention copy this query click on this untitled paste the query over here and just simply click on run just wait for to this query get execute and it's done now click on the save option then click on save view now just wait and if you just simply click over here you can see this database okay just simply click over here now for the table name just simply scroll down and here you can see from the point number six just copy this table name paste over here and just simply click on save so we are done with this now what we have to do we have to just grant some permission so what we have to do just simply click on this data set then click on the sharing and then simply click on authorize view like this okay now just copy this thing carefully do not copy that last full stop again i'm saying do not copy that and just simply paste over here wait for a second click over here then click on add authorization and it will be done now just simply click on close so we have done with this task now what we have to do we have to just grant some permission so just copy this username click on this authorize table authorize view table click on share just wait click on add principal paste over here like this and then click on this blank space now for the role just copy this role 
paste over here and search for it and here you can see BigQuery data viewer like this just simply click on save and it's done now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue sometime it might take time no need to worry about that just click on second time just wait and we got a score on our third, third attempt now for the last again close this console now open the last open customer console now again scroll down now copy this username customer username then copy the password of customer username like this again click on i understand just wait for a couple of seconds click on this checkbox and click on agree and continue now just simply search for the big query open this thing now just simply scroll down now copy this query click on untitle and just simply paste the query over here just wait and we got a green tick now just simply click on run now just wait for this query get executed so it's done now again click on save save view and just simply click over here you can see this database so or you can say data set okay so we're done now we just need a table name so just simply scroll down copy this table name from the point number six paste over here just simply click on save and you are done with the task now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress we will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys